You have to be metal free before entering the room because we are working here on a 3T scanner. That is where I'm going to scan you today with a three Tesla magnet, which is always like powerful. And um, whatever is loose on your body will be flying into the into the magnet when you you cannot hold it actually. Welcome to a much colder Wisconsin where it's currently minus 5 Fahrenheit, which is around minus 20 degrees Celsius. This is GE MRI headquarters and I'm getting my first MRI scan here or magnetic resonance imaging. I've been prepped a bit, so I'm expecting it to be tight and a little bit loud. But Anna Fafana is going to look after me and she's going to scan my spine in a number of different ways. Now I'm six foot six and 230 pounds. So first things first, I hope I actually fit. And your Fofana should just be through here. There she is. Hey. Hey. Welcome to MR. I have to say, a little bit excited about this actually. <laughs> so yeah, just some of the do's and don'ts, I guess. Yes, the don'ts. Yes. Never enter the room with metal. That's really <laughs> huge because the MRI scanner is always on. So that is the biggest mistake um, everybody does and everybody assumes when a computer is off that the machine is off. No, that doesn't happen in MR. So I will yell at you every single time when you run in there when I don't think you are MR safe. What do I need to do now, Anya, to, to get ready to go inside here? Uh, you get changed and you are just in scrubs and I make sure that you have your mic off because that is what we need here. And then I will go with you into the scan room, make you comfortable and then I will do um, your spine. And uh, since we are using Eric and DL now, um, I, I will be done hopefully in 10 minutes. So prior, before we've used the technology, the sequence would at least, the same sequences would take 20 minutes. I'm an MRI guy since 20 years. So um, I, I, I've seen a lot of development, but this is the first feature, which is so much fun because now we can really like have nice images and be fast. That has never happened before. When you are scanning, you have to be really still because it's an MRI machine and every single time there is noise we are acquiring images so and the sequences will always I have the protocol ready here I can see I will scan those four sequences on you and they will all take um, two minutes or less and during these two minutes you really have to stay as still as possible and I warn you I see every single move <laughs> <laughs> I've been the first time in a long time, I'm actually a little bit nervous. <laughs> Shall we? Okay, I'm ready if you are ready. Right, cameras are all rolling, are they on here? Yeah, all so rolling. we are rolling. Okay. 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 So I hold now the mic in my finger, so it should pick up easily. So maybe you want to say something again? This is going to be really good, thank you so much. I'm very, very grateful. What I see is now an overview about your spine. So um, the first scan will take one minute and 42 seconds uh, because I applied Eric on DL. That is why that scan is uh, one minute and 42 seconds compared to three minutes and 24 without Eric on DL, okay? Just checking on you, how do you feel? I'm trying to get a couple of minutes sleep there actually. Awesome, cool. So then I can continue. The next time uh, one will take two minutes, okay? That is fantastic. So, how was your first MR experience? The sirens. It's like sirens going on on different levels in your head. So you're, you're in a confined area, you've got the noise going off. The first sort of 30 seconds to a minute is quite overwhelming. Yeah. I mean, so your role is... Calm the people down and still make good images. Yeah. But I can see, uh, if you are someone that suffers from any mild form of anxiety, claustrophobia, doesn't like loud noises, how overwhelming in the first 60 seconds that can become. So how do you deal with that? So really it's important that you talk a lot to your patient before they enter the board. So you show them the environment to really train them what will happen in the next 10 to 15 minutes. That is why I put you in feed first. So also not every MRI machine is able to uh, do a feed first scan because as you can imagine, it's so much more um, comfortable to go in feed first than head first to have that experience directly, right? Right, so we can do something in regards to the, to the noise and really give them comfort with the whiteboard scanner, but there are people who don't tolerate that at all and those ones need medication for the time being in the board. Anya, fantastic walkthrough. I mean, I've never experienced this before. So 
certainly something very new for me. I'm now going to talk to Jason Polzine about the actual images and, and how the images turn out, right? Yeah. Well, thanks for getting them for me. Yeah. Um, and tune in for the next episode to see what the medical component is of the images that Andy's just taken.